Hi, I'm Linda Charlton. Today we're going to talk about how setting up a boat in Quadrix. Let's get started. So let's go into your survey options. You want to make sure that you change your display name to your survey boat. Let's go to responses. You might want to change your survey availability to a specific date and time here. So I clicked on the set it Pacific date and then edit the survey ability. Then you can pick the date and time that you want and hit save changes. Go to security. You want to change it to invite only. You want to change to prevent multiple submissions to be on. You want to also make sure that anonymous responses are turned on. For distributions, you can use email and compose. If we do the select contacts here, they have to be under 200. So let's cancel this right now. And then let's go to the contact list go to contacts create a contact list so name it test and do next here I would do add manually and have your Excel sheet ready and just highlight the email addresses and highlight the column and hit paste right in the first box right here and it will enter the whole list for you all at once and if you need to have the name you have to make sure that your spreadsheet is going to be set up right all in the order it is before you can paste it and once you have the list make sure that you have the button here that says add contacts if you have a problem, it might be the last email address might have a problem with a .edu or the first one. Make sure you check that and then click on the button. Let's skip this and let's go back to your survey. You search for your survey and then go to your distributions and hit email compose here you can look for your contact list that you just created if it was over 200 so you go under my library and look at name of their contact list and you would pick entire contact list when you find your correct panel you can tell when to go out make sure you fill out your subject when you get to your message fill out your message but when you get to follow this link to the survey make sure that you do not touch the links for the survey they are piped and each one of their email addresses will have a different link if you don't want to send it by email this other way is not as guaranteed but you could go to your survey and go to your survey flow and we're going to want to add a authenticator and this type would be SSO or you could do your contact list and you will look for your contact list under your your library and pick the, your list or if you want to do the SSO you can also do it by your panel list too for your SSO type you would want to pick the use brand settings and then make sure that you move the survey questions under the authenticator. I'm going to get rid of the first. So this is how your survey flow should look once you apply the authenticator and hit apply and check the um, options. I have mine set at three to 
be able to let them have a problem with their login. So that's set at three and hit OK. Thanks for watching.